Hi guys, so I'm here at Marcelo Garcia's Academy in New York. We just had a great class. And I'm going to ask Marcelo to break down the north-south choke for me because this is a choke I've been working on for about four or five years and it's just started working for me. The reason is because I've actually started watching some of your videos. Uh, notice it's fantastic. <laughs> so I'm hoping that you can break it down for me. And I've got a few questions about what the guy does this, what mm -hmm. the guy does that. And um, I think the guys are really going to uh, get a lot of it. Yeah, they will do around that. So what are some favorite ways to set it up? What are some favorite ways to apply it? Let's, let's start from, like a, from the base, from the, like a, the fundament of, of the text of the position, the north south position. Okay, can you use it? First of all, I want to concentrate my whole energy on your neck. I don't want you to have an arm in between. I don't want you like a, get your chin inside. I mean, you got to find like a, just a clean choke. So, especially in the Nogi, you see a lot of times that people are like, just like, all right, I'm going to leave my hand closed, my elbow stuck and you're not, you're not going to have submission on you. So we have to just look for to find a way to clean up this. And the base is like the arm that's close to me, I have one way to take your arm out. That's just one way. We have different ways, but just the first way, I want to just use my chest to push your arm out of your, uh, of your neck. Even if you reach like a, your neck with, with your fingers, your hand, no, no, like just, it's not enough to, to protect the choke. So that's what I mean. I just want to make sure like your hands come up, you understand? And the other hand is still there, so the other hand I can just like put a lot of weight to get up. So now I can see like it's pretty much like clean, it's basically just go around the neck. So what I gotta do, I'm gonna just let it go your head from this side and switch on the other side. I don't wanna go too deep because it's gonna make me like I lose my balance. I wanna set up in the position that I'm gonna make me like stay flat and solid and, and head on your neck. And one thing that I gotta be careful, I don't want you let you move your head. So if you the other side. That's what I don't want to do. Mm -hmm. So I have a chance before you do this, like you just blend with my ribs on the side of your face, that is going to just stabilize like a, the position that I need to finish the choke. So if I stay over here, that's the problem. It's like a, the only problem that I see, you can just roll me over, like this. So as soon as I stop your head, I have to run back and just like stay really lined up and spread out my legs and just flat the position. The other hand, this is the first hand. Second hand, I just put on like this. And then I'm gonna be like in a position like that. And now I'm gonna just like drop my shoulder. So if your armpit is right above the middle of my throat, yes. it feels like. And I, I don't have to, this I have to squeeze much. You have to just like a, this is enough. Like, this weight on, on the neck is enough to make the guy side. And hide your head because maybe, maybe if you leave your head too high over here, the guy's gonna like knock out, so push your head away, so I just avoid my head. Just leave my head, not my head, but like my neck. You know? If you just push my head, it's all right, but if you push under my neck, you know, you're like gonna start to feel like, oh, I have to release the choke. Yeah, you understand? So now, often when I go for this, if I catch it clean, it works. But often the guy turns his head. So if the guy turns his head and you've committed to that, is there a way that you can salvage? The yes. Attack? After you understand like the steps, like uh, the step is like no hands, you don't want to have no hands. So I want to just find a way that you leave your hands like a, a, away of your neck. So if your hands away of the neck, I have a clean uh, situation to walk on the choke. But there's one side that if you turn your head, you protect. And it's going to be always the side that towards me. If you turn like towards me, you defend. But if you stay there, I have a situation that I can just create to force you to move your head. Do you understand? If you turn the other side, I still do the choke quickly. But if you look towards me, the choke is defended. But then the situation is like the situation is this. Your arms away of your neck. I can find a way, I put your arms away. I can pretty much like if you have your hands like this, I can find a way to just keep your arms away of your neck. But like you said, like the person just turned towards me. And that's more than enough to defend the choke. But if you stay over here, I'm gonna just force this the position. And the position is, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna get the lowest possible to get my ribs on, on your chin to make your head turn. Like that. And it's like that. It's like that. I'm gonna just like a lift that up your head. If you're really flexible, and if you 
maybe you have more flexibility than other people. And if you put your head like a, maybe if you turn your head, you know, but it's not gonna happen. If you turn like a, a lot, I'm pretty sure like a, maybe I cannot go that low to lift your head. But I promise you, you cannot stay there for a minute. So if you put your arm and the guy turns his head, you take your arm out, you reset, yes. and you go again? Yes. I believe like in this show, if you don't, I like to say, like, if you don't traumatize the other person, he's going to give you away. So don't squeeze <laughs> on his head, don't show him you want it too much. So just try. The guy defends, so just stay over there, stay around, just wait. Sometimes he moves his head himself. Or if you're not, you just like a, maintain the position, go with your ribs, and your ribs kind of like a push his head. The well, last question then, mm -hmm. what if you get the head and the arm? If you put the, the arm in between, I don't mind if he's not inside of the position. Like for example, this. If you put your arm inside, over here, but I have like a, I have your neck, I don't mind. You understand? Uh -huh. But if you put your arm inside like that, I'm going to have one more time reset and find a way to get your arm off. So what I mean? Reset. I don't want to like a, squeeze your, your, your face or your arm. I don't, maybe it's too big, my arm's not going to connect. You know what I mean? So I want to just sit over here. And I know your arm is still there. So I have to just find a way to clean up your arm. I have an easy chance to just like go over here and just get your arm off. But maybe once I do this, now we have the other arm on your neck. Okay. Right? So I clean up this arm, now I have to clean up the other arm. Or maybe you're too strong, you bump me out, I can't release you too much. So I'm gonna have to find a way to like uh, to get your arm out of the way without letting you go. So I keep holding and now we're gonna just like walk something like this. And so I get your arm over there. Your arm is out. So I can go one more time on your neck. Or maybe that's not the way. Maybe we can like let me go this way. So I can just like, your arm out. So I can do many different like things that you could just avoid your arm. Okay. Sometimes just to be dropped the weight of my hip on your arm, make you kind of choose like, all right, I don't want to really put my hand over here, I want to put my hand below. You gotta just like a, give the person option to like a, to he feel kind of, all right, I think if I put my hand over here, I can't escape. But you can't escape, you just open more than that. Well, I know I said that was the last question, but I lied. You've got a lot of students here, some are big, some are small, some are old, some are young. Is there a body type that obviously this choke works for you really well? Mm -hmm. Is it your highest percentage choke? The north south choke today, between like north south choke and re neck choke, I think I have a higher percentage uh, success with the re north south choke and the okay. re neck choke. Now, is there a body type that you find has a harder time with this? Really long arms, really short arms that students who typically have problems? Not strong, weak? I don't see. Too much problem. I see just sometimes like if the person is really like have a block on his mind and you have to just keep forcing that to he understand like a which way is gonna be the pressure, you know what I mean? That's the only problem that we have, but it's not everybody. I mean one person you have to just keep like that forcing more, but most of the time people really have an easy understanding you know, about that. But it takes a lot of practice, you know what I mean? I took like a five years I think to develop like a bit the position that I, I am today, or maybe like a, maybe a little bit more. But nobody could explain me anything, nobody found me this, so I was like just, so now I'm giving everything that I really like a train. It's not supposed to take all this, all this year, so people are supposed to take advantage of that, you know, and learn this move faster. Well, I'm trying to take advantage of it. Hopefully <laughs> you guys can take advantage of it. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Stan.